Hello dear friends. Today we will create a simple virtual project for visualizing a technological process with the illusion of movement in the TIA portal environment. A virtual project allows you to simulate the operation of the program directly on the screen. The video will cover the phases of project creation. Let's create a project. The project was created. Now let's insert a programmable controller there and enable the use of simulation, support simulation. Let's insert a device, a programmable controller. Let it be CPU1200, CPU1214 DC DC DC. Version should be 4.0 with the ability to simulate. Let's configure the controller properties. Select properties, select system and clock memory. And check the boxes that allow the use of these system generators and system flags. Now you need to insert the HMI control panel into the project. Let's select the basic panel. Well, for example, 9 inches. The panel is configured automatically. The most important point is the choice of network settings. Let's select a controller. We only have one on the network. And select the sixth item. Erase all system buttons. We confirm. Let's erase the welcome inscription. So, the management project has been created in advance. Animation on the screen is performed with on-screen objects. They are divided into groups. Now let's create control buttons and an indication lamp. We use standard buttons. The first button will be called Start and the second button will be called Stop. Let's change the color of the buttons. Let the first button be green. Let the text be white. And the second button be a different color. As a lamp we use a primitive. A circle. Which will change its color depending on the state. Let's create a controller project data block. PLC project variables can be created either in a tag table or in a data block. PLC tags can be related to HMI tags, but have differences in their names. Global data, music, block. In this block we will create variables. This will be Start button in bool format. Two values. Enabled and disabled. The stop button and lamp are also in bool format. We copy the pasted variables. Go to the HMI project and create tags. Select default tag table and paste our tags here. Now we turn on root screen. We have the only screen. And configure the light bulb animation.
The choice of animation is made in the animation section. So light bulb. Properties. Animation. Let's apply the appearance animation. The tag will be the light bulb tag. The first state. The light is off, gray, and the light is on, changes the fill color to light green. Let's configure the buttons in the HMI project. The system reacts to events from the events object. For example, clicking the mouse on an object or touching the screen. Actions on variables or functions are processed in response to events that occur. Select the events section and switch buttons. Enabling. By clicking, select the edit bit and set bit action. Fourth. Let's create a visualization of some industrial process. Well, for example, let's choose the animation of motors. You need to choose an animation. That is, there are four pictures. But in the beginning we will only use two pictures in the first part of the video. In this case, a shift occurs to a certain phase. The first picture. Make it larger so that it is visible. And so that the second one also fits on the screen. These are the first and second phases. It is desirable that they be the same size and then it is possible to combine them into one. Well, that's about it. Let's create a new tag. We will call it a generator. Bool format. Let's copy and paste this tag into the HMI project into the tag table. Music. Let's animate these pictures. We will use appearance animation. Visibility. Let's select the object with which the animation will be performed. According to the state of the generator tag, the first picture will be visible. Provided that the value of this tag is 1. Since the generator has two states, this picture will be visible only when the value of the generator tag is 1. The second picture will appear on the screen based on the signal from the generator. variable when the variable value is zero. Then she will be visible. Let's create a control program. Our system generators are already configured. Let's choose the generator frequency. Let the frequency of this generator be 1 Hz. Generator variable will change its value based on the generator signal. Type the letter C and select the generator. In the program, there should be a light bulb contact in this place. Let's open the default tag table and adjust the response speed of tags. Let's make them as fast as possible. 100 milliseconds is the smallest response value and check how it works. Let's turn on the simulation. 
If there is no error, then this is how our device works. But you will say, what's the point? There is no illusion of movement. But now there is only a small change left. We will combine these two images into one and turn on the simulation. Turn on the start button. So there is the illusion of the engine being turned on. Press the stop button to stop the movement of the motor.